your computer, your iPhone, Facebook, Google, Instagram, and TikTok, all made possible through algorithms. We live in a new age, the age of algorithms, silent workhorses aligning data sets and systematizing the world. And who invented algorithms? An uncivilized man. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I mean a Muslim Persian mathematician, astronomer, and geographer, Al Khwarizmi. The term algorithm is actually the Latin translation of his name. Khwarizmi, algorithm. Algoritmo, algorismo, guarismo, algarismo. You get the point, hopefully. And no, he's not Quaresma, even though he probably uses algorithms to bend them like that. So let's quickly revisit who Khwarizmi was, what he invented, and why he's such a legend. Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi was born in 780 AD in the Central Asian region of Khwarazm, formerly part of Greater Persia, found today between the borders of Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan. Khwarizmi lived in Baghdad, Iraq, the world's biggest city at the time, and its center of science and trade. In the 800s, it was almost like Silicon Valley and Manhattan all in one. He studied in the House of Wisdom, known in Arabic as Dar al-Hikmah, which actually sounds cooler than Hogwarts. The place was a library, an intellectual center, and later an academy, inaugurated by Abbasid Caliph Harun al-Rashid, the man credited for commencing the Islamic Golden Age, a period of cultural, economic, and scientific flourishing in Muslim history, lasting from the 8th to the 14th century. After the Muslim conquest of Persia, the House of Wisdom became a center where Muslim scholars and polymaths of all persuasions gathered, translated scientific and philosophical texts, and published original research. Khwarizmi, the Muslim genius, accomplished most of his work in Baghdad between 813 and 833, under the tutelage of Caliph Ma'mun ibn Rashid. Khwarizmi published three major texts which changed the world. The first, Al-Kitab al-Mukhtasar fi Hasab al-Jabr wa al the original Arabic title is where we get the word algebra from. The book was translated into Latin in the 12th century, known today as the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing, and provided a compilation of rules together with demonstrations for finding solutions of linear and quadratic equations based on intuitive geometric arguments. Its systematic, demonstrative approach distinguishes it from earlier treatments of the subject. So next time you find yourself failing a maths quiz with a bunch of weird symbols and brackets, you know who to thank for that. Khwarizmi's second breakthrough was his introduction of Hindu-Arabic numerals and arithmetic to the West. To put it in perspective, everything from the number zero to symbols and systems of rules to represent small and large numbers. The book preserved in a Latin translation is dubbed Algoritmi de Numero Indoro, Algoritmi being the Latin interpretation of the author's name. And because Khwarizmi thought teaching the world numbers and algebra wasn't enough, he published Kitab Surat Al-Art, translated into English, The Image of the Earth, a correction and improvement of Ptolemy's geography, presenting the coordinates of localities in the known world. Khwarizmi basically showed the real length of the Mediterranean Sea and the location of cities in Asia and Africa. He also assisted in the construction of a world map for his Caliph Ma'mun, and participated in a project to determine the circumference of the Earth. What a guy, eh? So next time you hear someone suggesting people in Asia and the Middle East are uncivilized, keep calm and realize that that someone just might be functioning on the wrong algorithm.